Alan Kittleman wanted to meet in Ellicott City to show his commitment to address flooding concerns after devastating and deadly storms. Our plan would have taken down 10 buildings, expanded the stream, made this area down here more of a recreational kind of a amphitheater kind of place, a, a plaza. You know, 90% of the time there's no water going down that river, very, very little bit. You could have uh, carnivals, festivals, concerts here. Bean Hollow, which was a coffee shop. If elected. Kittleman says demolition of those buildings will be underway within his first year back in office. He also says as county executive, he would take surplus funds in the county coffers from the last fiscal year and give them back to the people living in Howard County. When I take office, you know, I have a plan that I can return $70 million over my first four years back to the citizens of Howard County. On education, Kittleman says he wants to focus on school safety, including adding more school resource officers. My daughter's a teacher in Howard County. Uh, my wife's a teacher in another county. Uh, how can you teach well if you have to worry about your safety? How can a student learn when they have to worry about their safety? In 2018, a rare sight seen in politics. Kittleman lost the election to Calvin Ball and showed up at Ball's celebration party to concede in person. My father was an elected official before me, and um, he taught me that when you lose, you go concede to your victor, to the person who won. When you're in a county like Howard County, you can be over somewhere in 15 minutes, you just go over and congratulate somebody. And so that's what I did because it's the right thing to do. Gittleman says the one takeaway he wants people to have about him is his integrity. You know, I tell people uh, my reputation is more important than any office I've ever held. Um, to me, it's more important that people know that I'm honest to them, with them, that I'll be straightforward with them. And I think that that kind of comes across, uh, hopefully. David Collins, WBAL TV 11 News. David, that was a very interesting report. Thank you. And you can find everything you need to know about Election Day from where to vote to who's running on our website and mobile app.